Good afternoon, State Board members. I'm Stephen Schaefersman, President of Texas Citizens for Science. I'm a, uh, an evolutionary scientist myself, so please feel free to ask any questions. However, I will be brief. The Texas system to adopt science instructional materials is sick, broken, and corrupt, and it has been for th the 33 years I've been Mr. appearing Schaefersman, here. Mr. Schaefersman, excuse me, please don't mention names. I see names on your testimony, but I've already I'm asked. not going to mention those names, okay, Mrs. You. Cargill. Good, thank you. Yeah. I've been appearing here for 33 years to advocate for the accuracy and integrity of science education in Texas. Several aggressive and well-known anti-evolutionists and intelligent design creationists were nominated and appointed to all three biology material review panels, at least one creationist to each panel. This was no accident. The creationists on the three biology review panels made many unscientific and nonsensical criticisms of the submitted biology materials. Uh, comments such as the text neglects to tell students there are no transitional fossils, and there should be inclusion of the creation model based on the biblical view of history are simply nonsense. These comments are pseudoscientific, incorrect, and illegal. These changes um, are not the ones that some state board members really want to make. They want to make changes that weaken and damage evolution instruction so that students will be misled and confused about the ability of evolutionary biology to explain the existence of biological diversity, thus leaving students prey to creationist explanations. These changes will be extorted excuse me, I mean negotiated, with publishers and secret meetings with TEA staff. Alarmingly, I've been told that the negotiated changes publishers are obliged to make will not be made public due to a bogus reason. The changes publishers agree to make with the TEA must be made public just as they were in 2011 so that we can evaluate what damage has been done to scientific accuracy and integrity by this process. Let's not revert to the corrupt decades of the 1970s and 80s when staff negotiated with publishers in secret and the results were not known until the books appeared a year later. During the PSYCOP hearing last Friday, several board members expressed their appreciation that the PSYCOP review pro C scope review process is now open and transparent, a sentiment I agree with. I now urge you to apply the same standard of openness and transparency to your own science instructional material adoption process. Please move and vote for a rule change that permits public knowledge of the textual changes publishers agree to. Thank you. Questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you.